Good morning. Good morning. Um, literally just woke up. I already had coffee started. Yeah. Going. Yeah. Got a lot to get done today. Oh, yeah. To make up for our technical difficulty days. Yep. It's been a lot. Yeah. But, figured, answer some questions. Um, so the video on the Crockers about, she's moving out, she's getting her own place. Um, I think people took that a million different directions. Yes. They pulled it every which way they could. Every emotion out of it possible. And we understand that. So, we're going to answer a few questions. Um, we're not going to go into detail on everything. Because y'all don't need to know everything. But we'll say enough that uh, you guys understand that we're two grown adults. Yep. And we've talked this out before we put the video out. Exactly. Um, a lot of you guys are kind of freaking out, saying... Where is she going to put this? What property? Um, is she buying it? Is she renting it? Is she going to rip you off when she wants to leave? You're a gold digger. Yeah. Um, Ouch. All this stuff. So it's pretty funny. Uh, well, I'll first start off saying it was my idea. I hit Melissa up to come up here in the first place. So, not a gold digger. <laughs> Um, she came up here and we we're doing everything. It's going awesome. We talk all the time. There's no TV. Nope. There's no nothing like that. So we just talk. This is what we do. Pretty much. And, uh, you know, we we're just saying stuff and I kind of was just like, I feel like you should start a channel because she started, we started talking and she said she wanted to be a life coach and stuff. And I was like, well, YouTube is a great way to reach people on a larger scale Rather than being stuck like in Dallas or Oklahoma or what, you know, wherever. Exactly. You can literally reach people all over the world. And Coffee the Crackers is almost kind of like life coachish sometimes. Mm -hmm. Like we talk positive yeah. and stuff like that. But mm -hmm. I was like, maybe you should start a channel and start talking to the world like, well, what aspect should it be? And we both kind of came up with the same conclusion of, just her life, yeah. um, you know, that aspect of yeah. it. And not to take away from any bit yeah. of Coffee with the Crockers and the Crockers, again, that was his spotlight, his platform, his hard work, and I 100% see that and appreciate it. And he gave me an opportunity just to come in and kind of join and be able to have additional, um, I don't know, just an outlet. Yeah. For me, and I just think that it's great that we can do this together. And yeah. that's really, again, don't overthink too much. This is just another. Is it extra? Is yeah. it bonus? Yeah, exactly. Um, that's the only way that we think about it. We think about it in such a positive way. So I hope that everyone kind of starts to see that a little bit more. And we'll kind of, again, just, it's not going to interrupt the work that we're doing here. Not at by all. So, any means. Yeah, so all you guys know that um, I used to post every single day. And being out here, I got burnt out real quick because just the last two days, technical difficulties. And if I'm doing that every day, it just, I get irritated. Yes, I, yeah. I get beat up with it and I can't, can't deal with that. Uh, real true struggles <laughs> that, um, yeah. And so, uh, <laughs> it's a nice way I could put it. And um, pretty much, instead of getting videos every other day now, you get them every day. Yep. It's just split up. So pretty much why we were just like, well, if you start your own channel, Melissa's going to edit and she's going to learn how to edit. And it's just, she's learning a lot more skills. She'll be able mm -hmm. to, if we've talked about this. So here's the thing too. If she decides a week from now, she's over it. She doesn't really, really want to live this lifestyle. Maybe, you know, me and her, argue over <laughs> who can start a fire better um i don't know um basically if she decides to leave she still has the youtube stuff to kind of do and to, to hold as her own and you know i don't know how you guys feel but whenever i work on a project or i do something i get 
in on it. I mean, I mean, I like dive. This is my baby. I can yeah. do what I want with it. I take a lot of pride in it. So why not let Melissa have the same feeling rather than, yes, she is kind of jumping in on the crockers, got the crockers, it was already going or whatever. Yeah. Now, Mel Melissa's gypsy, whatever you named it, it I don't remember. <laughs> um, Possibly adventures. That's her. She yeah. can she could build this up and she can turn it in any direction she wants. And I think that's an awesome thing. And it's not her trying to ride coattails. It's not her trying to be a gold digger. It's not her trying to take over. It's literally her outlet. And here's the thing. And all you guys have supported for the longest time. And you're the best supporters. And that's why I want to do this. I had a YouTube channel. And Jared was on it. And then when I went down to the ranch, Jared started his channel. Then you guys got to meet my parents more. My parents started a channel. Then Matt was going on a road trip. Matt started a channel. Everyone was super supportive. My ex-wife started a channel. Everyone was super supportive. Just because it's new doesn't mean it's a bad thing. It's a bad yeah. thing. I push everybody into starting a channel. Everybody. There's people I talk to all the time. I'm like, you should start a YouTube channel. They're like, no, I don't think so. And... That, to me, it's just a big confidence builder for anyone. Mm -hmm. And if you have a channel yourself and it's just starting out, you know how hard it is. But it builds confidence when you start getting a certain amount of views. And so yesterday I posted on Facebook and I said, finally hit the 10 million minutes watched in 28 days. Um, we've been around the 8 million and that's a lot. I'm very, very grateful. But it was a personal goal to hit 10 million minutes watched in 28 days and we did and honestly let's be real thanks to melissa whenever um i was uh doing videos when i first moved up here it was on a popping guys it was on a popping i was getting great views i was getting views kind of like what we're getting right now and then it kind of died off i kind of went through a slump of going through the divorce and all that, which, by the way, yesterday we went and got the papers <laughs> signed and notarized. It should be over with and done very, very soon. And so thankful for that. Big smile. <laughs> yeah, very thankful for that. And um, so yesterday was a big day for both of us. And um, I was kind of ending a chapter. She was starting one. Yeah. And so um, anyways, the channel kind of came down a little bit. My attitude came down. My motivational level came down. Everything just... You guys saw, came down, and then I tried, and I told you guys, this is the new Jason. I could do this. I could get better, and as much as I tried, I just couldn't get where I wanted to be. And then, lo and behold, Melissa posts something on Facebook, and it's a tiny house thing, just like we talked about yeah. three years ago. Yeah. And I was like, holy cow, full circle. I wonder if she'd come up here. And so I reached out. She came up here. It's been going great. Um, I could truly say... Out of the two weeks you've been here, you were gone like two days, something like that. I missed you the two days. It was kind of lonely. Um, we are not a couple. Um, do we care about each other? Of course we Absolutely. do. Um, it, she, I don't think she'd be here if we didn't. No. Nope. But we're not. Whatever you are thinking of that, I don't know. <laughs> um, we'll leave it up to the, at, at, at that. But um, could there be something? Will there be something? Just let it happen, guys. Whatever happens, let it happen. Um, you guys will think what y'all want, um, and that's fine. It's totally cool. It doesn't yeah. bother us. But when it comes down to Melissa starting this channel, there's n it's a bonus. Exactly. I mean, I think I've talked a lot, yeah. but it's a bonus. <laughs> I, I think everyone needs to hear your opinion. I think that this is kind of that that moment to really clarify it or just get an understanding of you and right now i think this is a, a great moment so please keep going because you're on a roll right now <laughs> well, just woke you up and you're going yeah. so please <laughs> but i mean it's truly a bonus like now instead of seeing us every other day you get it every day okay. and we've already yeah. talked about it and she's going to try to post when i don't post on the crockers so you guys will get it every day and then yeah. she may even post every day um because i kind of want to i'm a big big believer when you first start a channel, you bust your butt, and you do it every day. You get people's attention. You keep them um, interested by posting a lot. That's the biggest way, in my opinion, how you build a channel is show them that you want it bad enough. Work hard for it. 
post every day. You have to build relationships with people, and you can't yeah. do that posting once a week. You had to post often, as often as you can, without burning yourself out. You guys know I did it, so I'm gonna try to push it on. This is all um, new to me, so again, I'm. Yeah, I'm just passing it yeah. on to Melissa, and it's the same thing. If you guys could see my group chat with my family, I'm, I'm always <laughs> like, "Mom, where's your video? Matt, why are you not posting? Jared." You're posting weird videos again. <laughs> and then they'll talk trash to me. But it's always like, hey, let's post. like, Because it's not just, hey, let's get so many videos on YouTube or anything like that. This is something for us to look back on. And I think that's a lot of things that people don't realize. When my parents post a video, it's not just, hey, they're trying to get YouTube famous. Their kids that don't live anywhere near can watch. When we post videos, my parents can watch. When we're post videos, her family can watch. Now guess what? When she posts videos, her family and friends can watch her every day. And this is the worst way to think of it, but I think about it. What if something happened to one of us? And we got in a car accident or whatever the case may be. Those memories are now on YouTube forever. So yeah. why would Melissa not do that? So I don't know. That's just that's that part of the YouTube channel. Um I think the majority of you guys really got it. Um, Super supportive, and I thank you very much. <laughs> I think last time we were you at 3,000? Yeah, I think I'm at... But when we went to sleep, you had hit 3,000, yeah. mm -hmm. which is unreal. Yeah. It's awesome. Trust me, I was blown away. Yeah. Still, he's been teasing, about, <laughs> teasing me about it the entire time. Yeah, and so the support already um, is amazing, and it's like I told Melissa last night. Because there were some comments, and I told mm -hmm. I told her. Got my emotions going. Yeah, I said, you can't let them get to you. I said, 99% of the people will love you, and then there will be people that bash you. It's the same thing like on the Crockers. The second I put a video out, thumbs down, talking mm -hmm. trash. Who cares? Thanks for the view. But for that many people, at the beginning, mm -hmm. when Melissa first got on the Crockers, you guys took her in open arms, and that was awesome. And this new channel... Open arms. That's awesome. How many YouTube channels do you know out there, let's be real, that can start a YouTube channel on day one and get over 3,000 subscribers and thousands, yeah, like one of your videos had over 5,000 views already. Yeah. That was when we went to sleep. I don't even, I don't even know what it's at right now. Yeah. People would pay big bucks for that. And the fact that Melissa was able to start that way is awesome. And I don't think she takes it, I don't think she... I don't know what the dogs are doing there. I don't know either. She, I don't think she takes it for granted. I don't think. I mean, she could talk on her own, but I still think I'm getting used to the whole aspect of it. I think it's still a slightly overwhelming in a good way. It's just, again, I've worked hard before this to try to reach out and try to make that connection with people and whatnot. And again, I didn't think that this was something I was going to get out of coming out here. I thought I was truly going to be helping with the tiny house and get this experience. And Jason's blessed me with. A whole other platform, a whole other experience to dive into, get to know, explore, and I'm just thankful. I mean, there, again, this is all extra. It's all bonus. I'm learning way more than I set out to learn here, and I mean, that's just it. Yeah, and on that, um, as you guys saw in the videos, like I'm teaching her how to, you know, put the siding and stuff up, why we're doing certain things, how to use a sawmill. She probably didn't think coming up here she'd be jumping on a sawmill. Literally, all the cedar that we have, she milled up. You guys saw that in the video. And building the shower, we split that. We we both did the work on that. It wasn't just me doing it or her doing it. We both did it, and I was trying to teach her little things. And that's the whole point of her kind of doing a shed to house. This is going to be a longer video, just warning you. Yeah. <laughs> um, shed house. So I don't know if I've talked about this, to be completely honest. I've talked about this to other people. I don't know if i talked about this to you guys. So maybe this is where the confusion's coming from, um, worries, concerns. I appreciate it. She appreciates it. Yep. So we're still well, kind of laying it out. But my goal is once this is done, I want to build multiple buildings buildings tiny houses little places to camp little shacks little barns little sheds i want this to be like a little crocker paradise up here of like i want it to feel magical and i want different little i want everything to be different 
And I said from the get-go, I wanted to do a shed to house again. I enjoyed it. I really did. Um, it gets you in there quicker. You can spend more of your time focusing on the inside, not so much the outside. Um, I think it's a personal goal that's cool that if you can take a shed that people are like, you're supposed to put <laughs> storage stuff yeah. in it. And you could turn that into an awesome little tiny house and you can mess with people's heads and be like, wow, I can't believe you could do that. That's what yeah. we want to do. And the goal, too, is with all this, and we kind of talked about this, is when the shed gets delivered, we want to show you that Melissa, starting out with very little, I don't want to say skills, experience would be yeah. the better word, experience with tools and yeah. building that she could do it. And guess what? That's going to show you guys that if you're out there, exactly. you can do it. And I'm not trying to put this in a certain category, but for the longest time, we get a lot of women that are single, maybe single parents, that are out there and always say, I don't know how to do this, you know, whatever. Yep. That's the whole point of yep. this is to show you guys that you can yep. do it. And 100%. if Melissa can do it, you guys can do it. She's brand new to YouTube, so she's starting a channel. She's showing yeah. you that you can start a channel. She's, <laughs> exactly. She's going to be new to building a house. Yeah. If she can do it, you guys can do it. And that's the thing that I've you know said forever on my channel is I want to show you guys that you can do something. If you put your mind to it, you can live your dream and all that. And that's all this is. Yep. Um, so that kind of is why I was doing a shed house. Eventually, there was going to be a shed house here anyways so literally this is the worst case scenario <laughs> she gets into it she don't like it she wants to leave it's not hurting anything i was gonna do one anyways and it was my idea to kind of do all this so again she wasn't trying to jump yeah. on the bandwagon she wasn't trying to be a gold digger she wasn't trying to get free land she wasn't trying to get a free house nothing of that nature yep. so on that again i'm trying to answer as many questions as i can you had a brilliant idea with a purpose yeah and you're just making it happen and again pretty much that's really what it comes down to that's as bare and basic as you can completely put it and yeah. again whatever i've missed on the process of building this tiny house we're gonna start with that so it's i'm getting literally from clearing grounds to building it yeah. in a sense i mean so yeah that's the thing we're gonna yeah. have to cl clear some trees yeah. out which i had to do here we're gonna have to level it out i didn't really level it out here but i had to build a foundation now the shed house we might build a foundation. We might put it on the ground. Either way, we got to get it level. And so she's going to learn that, like yep. all that stuff. Um, and then kind of on that note, I gifted her that whole side over there. It's all hers. She can have it for free. Just kidding, guys. Calm down. <laughs> so it's still my property. It's in my name, all that stuff. She is yep. renting a section over there. Yep. She's renting a little section. We have all this in writing. We did all this, guys. I'm getting out of a divorce. Yeah. She's been married. <laughs> yep. Had a been divorce. There, done that, so. We understand the legal side of it. We yep. understand the things that could go wrong. Emotions. Um, we totally get oh, it all. <laughs> let's be real here. Yeah. My divorce got nasty. Um, you yep. guys don't know a lot of this, but it got bad. Really, really bad. Um, there's things that I hope we never have to bring to light because... I just don't want to do that, but it got bad, and you guys don't know that because we didn't put it out there, but I learned a lot, a yeah. whole lot, and, and I've been in some very similar situations, very nasty yeah. moments, so again, I think from our personal experiences, we dove into this being 100% transparent with each yes. other. From the get-go. From the yeah. get-go. I mean, Everything. the moment we started talking, again, we could go back to the text messages when it started, I think transparency was one of like the key words in the very beginning. Yeah. So... There's no shortage of that through this entire experience. We're sitting out here. This is what we do is we talk, whether yeah. it is from the moment we wake up and we start going at each other to the end of the day. I mean, there's always conversation where it, it's about some aspect of being out here in yeah. life. So we might not have been very close in the last three years, but. Oh, we're making up for it. Yeah, I guess. we've definitely made up for it. Again, you have no source of other entertainment and we're doing nothing but working next to each other pretty much all day long. Yeah. So we've been very honest, very open. We've talked about all the different dynamics that you guys have brought up or not brought up. Trust me, we've 
Yeah, we've covered it all. Yep. And, you know, like the land, too, it's like, let's just say, again, she's over here building, she's doing stuff. Let's just not even say that she gets burnt out or whatever. Let's say family emergency, something happens. I don't know what, something goes on, and she's like, hey, I can't stay here anymore. All of a sudden, literally, I got to leave tomorrow. She's halfway through the shed build, all that stuff. She can up and leave, and there's nothing holding her back. Um, that's the beauty of it. She's just renting a little spot. We're doing like month to month type thing to where it's not, you got to be here for a certain yeah. amount of time. The YouTube thing, she could do her own thing with YouTube. As far as the shed the house goes, I wanted to shed here anyways. Yeah. Um, she kind of has her own budget. I have my own budget with yeah. things. We're not. Um, jumping in into each other's pockets, no. um, nothing of that nature. She's been doing this. She's wanted to do this for a while. She's going to go into a little more detail on her channel about mm -hmm. a bunch of that stuff. But just know we have talked it all out. Um, yes. Everything is totally up, legit, squared away. I respect everybody's yeah. concern. I truly respect it. Yeah. I, I appreciate you looking out for him too. Okay, He is yeah. a good guy. So keep doing that. But I promise in no way am I trying to get in the way, no. pull away, steal, ride coattails, any of those. I wouldn't deal with that, words. guys. Y'all should know no. better than that. And no. I know some of the comments, we're going to get off here in just a second, but some of the comments were like, Jason, I know she's a good looking girl. Don't let her take advantage of you because her looks and blah, blah, blah. Guys, if I've learned anything in life, <laughs> it's you got to look deeper than the skin and um is she attractive yes um is she a really good person yes does she have i in my opinion good morals and all that stuff yes i trust her um again we we may not have known each other every little detail but we've kept up with each other for the last three years like through social media and seeing what we've been up to stuff like that and then just being out here, guys, you don't click with somebody <laughs> after not being around them for three years, come out here, and you guys can see in the videos, yeah. very, very much so, how quickly and how easily we get along, everything's great, Yeah. I don't know any other way to put it, if you have watched for the last two weeks, we don't even need to say anymore, yeah. Um, so, yeah, this is a longer video, we tried to jump in, um, <laughs> on her channel, uh, yeah, you're probably you're gonna try to post every day, at least for yeah. a minute. Um, yeah. If not, don't worry about it. But as much as I can, again, this yeah. is gonna be a slow thing. Again, we're diving into getting this started. Yeah, but there's a lot of pre work that has to go before there's an actual shed that's out here. So. Oh yeah, and then it's gonna be a, a little slow. But again, I'm gonna try to post without boring you guys again yeah. as much as I can and. You know, throw out ideas of what you really want to see and whatnot. I mean, I'm all for it. So, please, again, I'm just starting out with all of this and yeah. exploring what direction we're going to take it and whatnot. So, again, this is all extra bonus. Yeah, and it's not like you're getting a huge one. We're no, talking like a no, smaller one, yeah. something easy to do. Exactly. Um, something that she can learn on, something yeah. that's not going to break the bank. Uh, you know, yeah. stuff like that. And then... I don't got a big piggy bank break. So. Yeah, so <laughs> it's just, you know, I don't know. We'll talk about yeah. it more on her channel and um, kind of all that. But we just want to touch on that. So hopefully... <laughs> yeah, we're happy to call. So hopefully this answers some of y'all's questions. Um, you can just hear it straight from our mouth. Yep. You can kind of see yep. that we're not worried about this, nothing like that. Um, we do appreciate exactly. your concerns. We do appreciate Thank all you. that. You guys have had my back for the last two years through the worst parts of my freaking life um i've been to hell and back and i get why some of you are really looking out for me but we got this under control yep. we're two adults we talk about this all the time and um i would say don't overthink it but you're gonna overthink it. Yep. so we'll see y'all later on um melissa's channel if you um have not gone over for some reason we'll link it down in the description and uh Yesterday's video on the Crockers, we linked it in the description, and we put it a pin to the top, and some of you still couldn't find it. So, uh, Thank you, guys. Yeah. I can't say it enough. Thank you, guys. I appreciate every one of you, all your concerns. Thank you. 
Love but you guys. <laughs> we're out. <laughs>